am 27. My boyfriend is 29. I have been with my boyfriend for two years. We were doing great. We just complimented each other so well. We did have a few rocky moments, but he is madly in love with me. And I was too. Everything changed in an instant. When I still had the laptop me and my ex-boyfriend used together. I have had it for a long time now. It doesn't work though, and never has. So nobody touched it for probably 3 or 4 years. My ex-boyfriend just abandoned it. And I didn't know what to do with it. Anyway, about 2 weeks ago, in the morning when I was getting ready for work, my ex-boyfriend was off that day. He was going through the garage where I kept some of my old stuff and he found the laptop. He asked me if he could fix it or maybe use parts of it for his computer. I said yes. He was working on the laptop when I went to work. When I came back from work that evening, my boyfriend looked visibly upset. He sat me down and told me he fixed my laptop. And when he was deleting files to clean up the hard drive, he came across a video and played it. As you could guess by now, the video was made when I had threesome with my ex-boyfriend and his friend. And we decided to video it. It was when I was young and stupid. And I was too careless to have not deleted it a long time ago. I have almost forgotten that it existed. So my boyfriend, after he fixed my laptop and came across the video, he watched it. He didn't have to tell me how much the video bothered him. I could see it on his face. He looked really sad and depressed. On some level, I wanted to call him an a-hole for not respecting my privacy. But in that moment, I couldn't say anything. He just walked out and didn't say anything. He came back after a few hours and we discussed it rationally without any screaming. And I thought everything was fine. I said it was in the past and that I couldn't do anything to change it and that it isn't fair to feel ashamed of trying new things. He agreed. We also had a policy of not discussing past relationships. So he never asked me any more information. We cuddled and slept that night and I honestly thought everything was fine. But it doesn't seem so. He doesn't do all the things that he used to do. He doesn't even look at me or joke around or do all the fun things I love about him with me anymore. He just seems withdrawn. We don't even have sex as much as we used to and he doesn't even seem interested. Of all the times we had sex since the video, I initiated it all the time. He never initiates it anymore. He doesn't even hold my hands when we are out. He used to do sexy teasing things like slap my behind or cuddle when we were watching movies, but not anymore. I feel so disgusted at myself. I don't feel sexy or wanted. I don't know how to fix this. I tried to bring it up, but he just brushed it off with jokes. He just deflected it and just leave it at that. I can't get through to him because he reassures me that nothing is wrong at all. I am afraid our relationship has an expiring date. I'm genuinely in love with him, but I feel that he doesn't want me anymore. How can I fix this? I have been crying whenever I think about it. I don't know how to change him back to how he was. Update. I spoke to him. I don't think it went well. I asked him to be upfront with me and that ignoring the situation and being passively aggressive is very childish thing to do. He got annoyed and told me that he wasn't being passively aggressive. I asked him if I repulsed him and he said no. I started getting angry and started crying. He just kept asking me what's wrong. And I told him that I could sense that he's different since he watched the video. He just sighed and said nothing. I told him that it is unfair that he didn't respect my privacy and that he judged me for something long ago. And not even that bad. It was like a verbal diarrhea through tears and anger. I told him a lot and he just listened. I asked him if he thought I was a different person from the person he met years ago and if he thought I was some dirty hole. He just said no. I told him that I feel like he doesn't respect me anymore. I didn't know what else to add and he wasn't being open with me. This didn't go as I hoped. I am a sucker for romantic BS. But this wasn't one. I asked him if he is depressed or sad. 
and he did say that he felt sadness and anger. I tried to further probe, but he wouldn't budge. I finally asked him if he needed space or if he wanted me to move out. She just sighed and said no. I don't know what this is. He went out and smoked and hasn't come back yet. What should I do? Should I leave and give him space? I'm not even sure what I'm dealing with here. I'm trying very hard to control myself, but I feel like crying and trashing everything in the room right now. What should I do? Did I just make things worse? Update. It's been three or four days since the incident in my last thread. The next day, I told him that I was not attacking him and that I was sorry and that I would be here for him whenever he wanted to speak about it or anything else. He said thanks. At dinner that night, we got to talking and slowly the subject was brought up. He felt that he had seen a different part of me, a part that, and I quote, doesn't love him, close quote. I don't know what that meant. I thought it was some sort of insecurity and I tried to assure him that I love him and that I chose him, not the guy in the video. I told him about insecurities and gave him some tips on how to overcome them. He asked me how many times I have had threesome, but it was just that once. I asked him how many partners he had before, and he said three, all serious relationships. I was a bit queasy because I had five times as much partners as him, so I lied and said that I had only six partners. I know this is effed up thing to do, but it's so insignificant. I don't know why people make a big deal out of it. It is for the best. He was hurting and I don't want to hurt him anymore. We cuddled and made out, but he couldn't get it up. This never happened before and on some level, I thought he didn't even find me attractive. But he said he had a long day and he was just stressed from work. I googled a bit and I don't know what to believe anymore. Am I hurting him? He woke up with a morning wood. It doesn't seem like it was broken. I don't know. The thing about it is, it happened three more times. Since I initiate every time, and I'm giving him time to heal, he can't get it up. I brought up couples therapy, and maybe even Viagra, but he got really annoyed and stummed out. He came back and packed his bag and left a few hours ago. I was a mess, crying and shouting. I even tried to stop him from leaving, but he left. He didn't say we were through, but he didn't look happy when he left. I know a lot of you guys said we should spend time apart to find out what we love about each other again. And I guess that's what's happening now. I called some of his friends and his parents to find out where he went. I don't want to say it, but I think I'm losing him. He's ignoring my calls. This is so unfair and so stupid. How can I come back from this? This is all so stupid and insignificant. I am extremely depressed. I went through some of his things in our closet and found an engagement ring. I think he may have wanted to propose before all this happened. Update. I think there is hope. I spoke to one of his friend's wife and she told me where he is staying. I went to write a letter and stick it under his door. I want to just let him know that I'm here for him and he can take however long he wants and I'm sorry for not telling him and pestering him. It's only because I love him so much. Is this a good idea? This is the end of the post. Now let's go over some top comments and responses from the original poster. Reader comments. She's narcissist. She's constantly trying to play down and dismiss any feeling he may have had in order to prop herself up. It's like he exists as mere thin for her leisure and when he isn't properly playing the role for her, then he must be because he's broken. Because she can't fight on the idea that she could possibly be wrong or out of place on anything. Me, 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 selfie. She doesn't love him. She can't. Because she doesn't know what love is. And at this point in her life, is incapable of it. Because real love would interfere with me, me, me. Another Reddit comment. Yup. There is no way a woman would bring up Viagra in a conversation after knowing very well that their partner is still hurt from a previous issue. Another Reddit comment. I work in a pharmacy and you would be surprised the number of women come in and ask about Viagra. One woman even asks if Viagra comes in a spray bottle. 
Another reader comments, I feel inappropriate in context to this thread, but Viagra in the effing spray bottle? I can't help but laugh. Reader comments, don't even need to say it's okay. Just put a big old smile and snuggle it all up. Original poster, it happened many times after that first time, and I do cuddle. Couples canceling isn't so bad if it can help us through this, right? Reader comments, Jesus lady, you are spectacularly selfish and stupid. You have literally made the wrong decision every single time and are so self-obsessed and selfish that you can't even figure out why your completely effed up actions are hurting your significant other. Just think about how you have acted towards your significant other and forget about how you feel or what you want. He was hurt seeing the video and your very first reaction was to get pissed at him about his feelings, accuse him of breaching your trust and telling him that he is insecure, telling him that it's not a big deal and you can't understand why he's upset and generally effing him any way you possibly could when you had an opportunity to correct all your original BS, you double down by again telling him he is insecure and you will advise him on how to get over his insecurities. You keep bringing up the guys in the video to attempt to reassure him that all those sexual acts you did with them aren't a threat to him. Seriously? What the F? And then you lied to him about the numbers of partner you had and then told him that he should take Viagra because he's having issues getting it up because of what you have been doing to him. Seriously, this exactly is the worst horror movie plot ever conceived. If you have the opportunity to make things better or just not F them up further, you decide that you are the most important thing in the universe and F them up more. There is no possible way you can be this oblivious to your action and still remember to breathe. Stop effing thinking about yourself. Stop effing your significant other. Stop dismissing his emotions and need. And generally, stop being an effing horrible person. At some point, you need to acknowledge that your situation is completely fair and you are an effed off person. The sooner that happens, the sooner you can actually attempt to do something to savage your relationship. Right now, I'm rooting that you further nuke your relationship so that he leaves you because nobody deserves to be exposed to your level of childish selfishness. Another reader comments, it's literally only a couple of days. You don't know what time to heal even means. Original poster, I know, I just thought, I don't know. I thought I was helping. Reader comments, what the hell is wrong with you? Seriously? You berate him by calling him childish? You recommend him getting Viagra? You also lie to his face about your partners at the time when you should have been honest. Of course he's unhappy. You are lying to him and belittling his feelings. You are the one making things worse. Original poster. I want to give him time to heal. It sounds bad when you condense my actions like that in a sentence. But believe me, I love him. And I refuse to believe that he can just fall out of love for me in an instant. Reader comments. I am a woman too. Not everyone treats sex like a handshake. Original poster decided to just lie whenever it became apparent. She didn't share the same sexual value as her guy. To you, you don't want to be judged negatively for the things you have done and clearly identify with the original poster. But someone has the right to decide for themselves what is a relationship deal breaker. For example, no one will fault a woman for having monogamy as a deal breaker. She wants to be with one partner, so she doesn't want to do that sleep with multiple partners. Okay, so why is it so hard for someone who is not into threesome would want a partner who is on that same page. You say threesome is not a big deal. That's your personal value system. Original poster boyfriend is destroyed and never imagine his girlfriend would have one. Thanks to the forced impression she willingly provided about her sexual values. I think he should decide for himself whether he wants to continue or not. It's a valid issue since he was misled about who she is. She pretended to be more sexually conservative, like he is. Original poster. I hope it doesn't end. I really love him. And we are perfect for each other. You are right. I don't share my past because I usually say it isn't anyone's business. I feel so depressed and unwanted. I feel so repulsed and ashamed. Sometimes I just cry. 
I know it isn't right. We will make it through.